welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show with me, Martin Ashton, and Owen, the bike nerd. The bike nerd. Yeah, that's right. How that. are you, bike nerd? Good. Just getting over a bit of a lurgy. Oh, all those no. pre-winter colds. I wish you told me that before you came in the shed. Anyway, Orcs. let's move on. Um, we have got a bit of a dilemma to talk about this week, because Ooh. in cross-country, something quite dramatic is happening. We're Again? in a pivotal moment. Again. Again, right? So... Current world champion in XCO and World Cup overall champion, Alan, Alan Haverley, is leaving oh. cross-country and mountain biking in general and going over to road. Oh, He's going to go dear. and road, ride for the Jayco Alua team. Oh, yeah, dear. Riding road. They use giant bikes. He will do some cross-country mountain biking next year but on a giant then, um, rather than a Cannondale, who he's been riding for, obviously, and winning world championships for. But he's leaving. That's, That's shame. sad, isn't it? Yeah, it is so, a real shame. I do don't you, like that. Do you want me to make it worse? Worse? Yeah, hold tight. Hold tight. Pauline Fran Prevost, she's always so going, isn't she? Oh, PFP. Not thought of this through. Okay. Yeah, she announced yeah. Uh, earlier this year that this oh, would be her last course. year. Yeah. So... The current Olympic champion and 2023 world champion... She's gone on road. Right. They both want to do the Tour de France. Obviously, she's okay, doing the yeah. female Tour de France, yeah, so yeah. he wants to do the Tour de France. Big lifelong challenge that he's always wanted to do. They're going. Do you remember Cadell Evans? Yes! Yeah. Yeah, he was yeah, amazing. Tell, tell the people about Cadell Evans. Yeah. Like, so he lived in lots of different parts of Australia. He got kicked mm. in the head by a horse to the point where they're like, oh, this is a bike Might not he's wake about. up the same as he was. Yeah. And they think that's why, yeah, he's. Has different emotions and different values. Should we tell to the him people? about his bike riding? Oh, right, yeah, sorry, right, yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, road mountain bikes, incredibly well to the point why that's why we've got five people on a podium. We had a bit of a chat about that previously, is because he was a junior at Cairns World Cup, I think in 94, 95, yeah. and did so well that he was fifth, and all the elite men were like, you know what, he was incredible. Let's stick him on the podium. So that's why we've got five people. Yeah. 98 and 99 overall World Cup champion. On a Cannondale. On a Cannondale. And then yeah. tried out and did like the Giro on a Cannondale. Mm -hmm. uh, short story version is he won the Tour de France. That was the short story. Yeah. But it's good. He, yeah. he went over to road from mountain biking in 2001. That's a much um, better short story. And, yeah. and in 2000, I think it was 2007, 2008, both years, he came second in the Tour de France. Yeah. And then in 2011, I want to say, he won the Tour de France. First Australian to do it. And he won right. world champs on the road too. Yes, yeah, he was yeah. world champs, yeah, on yeah. BMC. Yes. Now, now the thing I want to get the point I want to get across right is that once they go, these riders, they don't come back. No, we've lost them. Yeah, right. This year, we thought it was going to be the last year of Nino Scher. He's going to do one more year at least. Okay, thanks. Nino. Twenty twenty five. He's carrying on, which we weren't sure he was going to do. But he's potentially the greatest cross country rider of all time. If he isn't, Pauline Fran Prevot is, and she's gone. So, Nino, this is our last glimmer of hope with him. Is cross-country in big trouble, Owen? Can it survive this loss of talent? I mean, you, uh, just briefly, on the greatest of all time... With you say briefly, but i got no, a no, feeling you I'm won't be, be brief. I'm going to be really brief. I don't think you will be. Julie Furtado raced on the road. You've already gone back to, like, 1990. Yeah, but she's an absolute legend who's still got the, like, the record of number of wins of almost, like, World Cups, but yes. not World Cups. Um, she also won DH and XC, but she raced on the road first, smoked pretty much everyone, then went, mm. actually, mountain bike's more fun and I'm going to do that because she's cool. Uh, I mean, that isn't happening, is it? No one's leaving road to come and do cross country. No, and it's sad. Like, it's that's only, a shame. This is going to be happening with gravel next. We're going to have top talent leaving to go and do gravel. I mean, I would say in America that's already happened. Oh, stop it. No, really. I think, stop yeah. Stop it. Right. Yeah. My, my big question is, can it survive... Do you want me to bring some hope? Yes. Right. Only last week, I put a video out, quite a controversial one. Oh, right. The top 40 most stylish mountain Ooh, bikers. Oh, it's good. I like uh, that. Myself and a big crew in the office, we all talked about who should be on this list. Then we let you guys vote on the list and right. positioned them. Um, we Some riders didn't make the list for good and bad reasons, okay, some yeah. of it, all right? That annoyed a few people. Can't please everyone. A few. Oh, whoa! Oops. Right, <laughs> but and maybe rightly so. Uh, maybe but not. Chad in in that list, right? I mean, this is the most stylish riders. 
you know, a decade ago, we would not have been including cross-country riders in the most stylish mountain bikers list. No. Check out these riders, though. My favourite, Bjorn Riley. Yes. Love this guy. He's, I mean, he's so good on a bike. Yeah, and yeah. There's not many times you see, like, a potential future world cross-country champion who can do all of the bike park skills he's got. And uh, really smooth, and, like, just yeah. with flow. Versus, so good. No offence to Nino, his table is a bit... Thing oh, is... he's he's on another level to yeah, Nino. Nino. Like Nino's, is just... Nino's got nothing. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, right? So I really feel like that guy. I put a pin in him. Not actually, but I put a pin oh. in his name because I think he's a future world cross country champion. Yeah, um, and yeah. he's going to make it look sick. Um, Christopher Blevins. Yes, he was on the list. Yep. Fantastic rider. Really, really great. Um, someone who didn't make the list. And I feel bad, but but it was rampacked. But I think she's a, a huge talent for cross country, uh, and you could pin the sport on her a little bit. Uh, Evie Richards, yes, what a talent! And yeah, she's just like talent. incredible. She's got all the lifestyle stuff on the Instagram stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just she's making it look fun and great. Agreed. Charlie Aldridge as well. Ooh, yeah. I good mean, shame. he's yeah. now is he Cannondale's number one now, really? I think he had a second at XCC, didn't he? Uh, World champs. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, he is a fantastic rider. All those people were on that most stylish list. Yeah. Um, so it's it's hopeful future, I think. Did you see the most stylish video? I mean, I did get some stick for it. Okay. Did you? That was overly harsh. So, Why? I mean, tell him who was missing. Go on. Uh, Danny. Danny McCaskill didn't make the list. Well, I mean... Uh, yeah, he didn't make this. He didn't make this. The thing is, the problem uh, is, right, he just didn't get mentioned when we were putting the list together because a few of us in the group who were putting the list together are trials riders. Yeah. Okay, this is a horrible defence of my position, but I'm going to try. Yeah, okay. Um, and as a trials rider, you can really appreciate Danny's skills as at trial skills. I don't think any of us can even comprehend his creativity skills and his imagination. Yeah, He's beyond brilliant, right? But in terms of a trials rider... I can kind of see his skills are like um, structural. You know, they they are a techniques. So he's not necessarily full of flow and style as a trials rider. No, he, okay. get, he gets the trick done. Yeah, but I mean, an incredible trick. Tricks oh, that God, some yeah, people yeah, yeah. can't even do. And if it was who's the best mountain biker, I'd be saying Danny's one of the best riders I've ever seen. Um, the other person who didn't make the most stylish list, I can't, I, I can't understand why I didn't put him on there because I love him, Sam Pilgrim. People were furious. You were furious. You're really? one of them. Yeah, because Sam Pilgrim wasn't on there. He is a fantastic rider. He's one of the He's best right. bike riders. He really is one of the best bike riders I've ever met. Honest to God, I've been around him a lot when he's riding. He's truly great. But that great, a great rider, but stylish. I want to admit the mistake I made. I want oh. to get it out there, okay? This I want to, I want to call myself out. I think the mistake I made, right, is, is Danny didn't make the list. Because if you put Danny on that list, right, he's going to be in the top three. But he isn't in the top three most stylish riders. So it, it was sort of right he wasn't on the list because he can't be really said to be one of the most stylish riders. But I think you could say the same thing about Fabio Wimmer. He won it. <laughs> he beat <laughs> he beat Brandon Semenek into the second stylish. place. Yeah. So but I it was think, a vote. Though, I wasn't think it, it was a vote. Just you, no, so it wasn't there just you go. me. Yeah. I think what happened is that. I put a couple of riders, Matt Jones and Fabio Widmer, who were very popular um, and aren't necessarily the most stylish, and they did much better than I thought they were going to do in terms of style. Okay, yeah. In fact, they were both in the top five. So I feel like I shouldn't have had them in the list. The popularity contest should have been removed from the list. But we'll come back to the list. I think there's always but... going to be debate about the stylishness. And, yeah. you know... Uh, that's good. That's why mountain biking is always changing. So mm. we can update the top 40 another time, I feel like. I, well, I think we're going to get to Let's do it that. again, yeah. Um, something else I want to call myself out on while I'm doing it is um, just look at this little clip of a vid I did with Rich the other day. With the iconic Greg Minard on board, winning World Cups, backed by his teammates. He had some good ones back he in the did. day. Brendan Fairclough, uh, Matty Lykonen, the Honda G-Cross setup was groundbreaking, buddy. Yeah. Notice anything? I'm like I mouthing the words. I didn't know you, could, didn't know you look, could throw your voice. Look, everyone's doing impressions. Canuck Chuck says, I love the fact that Martin is reading along with Rich's parts. You're not supposed to notice. Um, and is Martin a ventriloquist? When Rich talks, Martin's lips are moving. And someone else said, uh, you don't know where his hand is. 
Let's do it. Next part. The next part is um news. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not jump off there, because um, I want to ask you guys a question, right? Um, is XC in trouble? Want to know in the comments down below. Um, that's a definite um, question yeah, for you guys. Question. But also, this top 40, shall we do an alternate top 40? Ooh. If we can get enough names, we'll do an alternate top 40. Who are the riders who didn't make the list that should make the list? Like it? I like it. Like that in the comments, it's name names. But let's just take it that Danny and Sam are in the list, all right? right. They've made it, who else? Uh, we need 38 of the riders. Get busy <laughs> in the comments, please. Go. What's up, everyone? As the guys have been chatting about already, our first bit of team news for 2025 has come around nice and early, with Alan Hatherley being allowed to exit his contract with Cannondale Factory Racing early to head to Jayco Alula for a mixed mountain and road schedule. I won't dwell on that too much. Instead, continuing with the news that Crank Brothers have launched Club CB, their digital community for Crank Brothers enthusiasts. It's free to join. Exclusive rewards and member benefits are on offer. We'll drop a link to it in the description below. There are updates to Yeti's line of SB120 models. The dedicated trail bike has a super compact link, better sealing on the Switch Infinity, UDH compatibility, and the new Grip X damper as standard on all T and C series models. A new color also joins the lineup. I think it's the first time we've seen this lichen green for Yetis. It looks spot on in my opinion. Enduro 2, the pairs format enduro race, which has been held in Maribel, France for the past couple of years, is adding a Swiss stop to the roster as it arrives in Verbier for 2025. Slated for the 5th to the 7th of July, riders will face three days of blind racing, on sighting red and black trails across 15 huge stages, 70% of which are single track. Since it's pairs format racing, you get the thrill of riding with a buddy and your total team time is logged. The classic round in Maribel is still later on in the year, 23rd to the 25th of August for that one. Registration for the Enduro 2 races opens in December this year. Now, good news if you're viewing from the States, PTs have launched dedicated US warehousing and website, meaning you can grab PTs products with fast mainland delivery and hassle-free customs. There's free shipping over $60 per basket total, and alongside our giveaway, which the guys will shortly tell you about, you can also enter GMBN20 as a discount code for 20% off of non-discounted products on any of the PT sites. That code is valid for three months until the February 13th. We'll keep in the descriptions of our videos for safekeeping as well. And with that, I'll hand you back to the guys in the shed. Competition time. Um, and this is a great contest because everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. Yeah, I'll get to that. Tell oh, okay. them what you can win first. Right, there's win. two bundles. Yes. Which are up to £200 worth of PT stuff on the PT's website. So you get like a vanctuary type thing and you can go wild on all of the PT stuff. Love it. Which we've got here, lots of clean products, but don't forget they do Ab amazing vowels too. Absolutely massive bundle of stuff actually. And they do the kind of wrap thing where you oh. can put all your little bits and bobs. So much stuff, so much oh. stuff. So you can win yourself a great bundle of PT stuff. You can go down into the uh, description down below the video and follow the link, answer the question, and you could be in for a win. Um, you've got between the 12th and the 22nd of November to do it. So good luck on that, but I said everyone's a winner. We've got a code for the website no. that gets you 20% off of PE's products on their new website oh. right now, if you want. It's there for the next three months. The code is, imaginatively, GMBN20. Oh, well, no that's one's, great. No one else is going to figure that one out. A secret code. But you can use 20 that code. 20% off, that's ace. Yeah, off things that haven't already been discounted. Obviously. You know. You so, could yeah. really clean up. Yeah, so that is a fantastic uh, little offer for everybody, and that goes until the 13th of February, 2025. Well done, PEs. Yeah, Love that. Stuff. Good luck in the contest. GMBN shop. Yes. Christmas gifting happening. Ooh. It's that period, isn't it? Yeah, no, so very true. So we really appreciate it if you head into the shop and get some merch for Christmas presents. Of course, there's Black Friday coming up, so there'll be Ooh. some incredible deals. I mean, there's some good deals on there at the moment already, to be they fair. Are, yeah. yeah. Um, have you seen our new emojis? Have no. You seen, oh, I'll show him Rich these amazing new emojis. If you uh, become part of our YouTube memberships, you get these custom emojis. I'm well into them. Yeah. Um, I'm loving the GMBN Globe. But yeah, we've got the new tools emoji. Oh, we've got nice. a little Love Hearts one. We've got the GMBN Globe, little water bowl, hacks and bodges. Love it. Custom emojis, all part of the YouTube memberships. Got the trail crew, trail boss. Um, you get discount in the store. You get your uh, loyalty badge next to your name, yes. which really signals you out. 
as yeah. like pro in the comments. Quite like that. Yeah, no, so that's yeah, all good. we appreciate all of that kind of support. It's really, it's really meaningful. And of course, like I said, Christmas bundles. Get your presents ready for the big day. Love it. Exciting. Right, shall we do some hugs and bodges? Hugs and bodges. <laughs> <laughs> Not that hacks and bodges. Not that hack. You sort of bodged it. Hacks and budgets. Yes. Wonderful uh, selection here. Uh, this one's from Arthur Bates. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is. Um, yeah, it's one of those ones where you kind of like you wouldn't think it would work, but would that be all right? Would it? Would it not damage the bike? Would it doing that? I guess it would damage the bit of wood. It could damage the bike. I mean, you get custom geometry. Yeah. You can change your. Essentially, for those kind of listening I like versus it. viewing, we've replaced mm. our shock with a bit of wood. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it feels fine on the road, yes. Oh, okay. But a bit wooden <laughs> off the road. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think I heard he got a promotion as well. He's a new uh, uh, branch manager. Oh, right. Yeah, that's oh, okay. very good of him. Very, very good. Um, you're in the chance with uh, winning a stunt mug. Next up is Adrian Manapil, and he says, uh, oh, it's an unused inner tube on this uh, suspension linkage. That is that's a quite, very pro fit. That's quite neat, actually, isn't it? It's very Gluing neat. it on tight like that, it's very, very good. Yeah. I like that. And it'll flex, but it's not going to allow the muck to fire through to that main pivot. And it looks like he's done it on this mini bike, doesn't it? That's actually like uh, a little shot zoomed I in mean, on it, this bike. Essentially, it is that bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Close-ups uh, later, yeah. I like that. It's uh, very pro-looking. And next up, we've got... Oh, I love this one. So this is from Adam Skinner. Okay, so look, he's got a true the wheel, basically. A spoke broke, he's got a true the wheel. But he's using a really old school bike rack upside down to create a wheel jig. And then he's created this like and he's borrowed a clamp from uh, of clamps. Science lab, yeah. Yeah, to create a truing device next to the rim itself. It's really brilliant. It's ugly as sin. I mean, to say it's a Bodge, but, but it, I don't it, think bet it, it works perfectly. He's got a roller, sort of like a, a, a dial gauge there. Yeah. So it's not just a visual gauge. He's also got effectively a visual gauge with his kind of like ruler mm. on the on the table. The table also looks pretty interesting. Yeah. It feels like it's not his first sort of DIY no. construction. No, so, it's yeah, bottle, I like that a lot. That's, that's um, good. Owen, as the uh, nerd, I think you should Thanks. choose the best hack or bodge. Do you like being called a nerd? Yeah. I mean, you are one. Yeah, I am. Yeah, so, like I mean, why, why not not fight that? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Why not embrace that? <laughs> embrace you, the did nerd. Did you look in the mirror one day and went, I guess I'm a nerd? I don't think so. I think it was basically always. <laughs> that was such a mean thing to say. There you I go, can't people. believe I said Showing that. his true colours there. That was but so mean. It's not that mean. It's not that mean. No, I mean, you do look like no, a nerd. No, but even it's in the it's in the Bible. It's in the good book. You had to be a nerd the or a scientist. Didn't the you yeah, right, exactly. you had to be one or the other. Yeah, and I can't you're spell like, scientist, got... so <laughs> that's that out of the window, isn't it? So, are we doing a show? Yeah, we are. Right, the winner is for me. Well, it's got hacks or bodges, and Adrian, I'm sorry, yours is too professional. It looks just too good. There's not a kind of miscut zip tie or anything. That looks pro, so that's out. The wooden shock, I wouldn't think it would work. We've done some great puns off that. Yeah. So for me, the winner is Adam Skinner. Adam Skinner with a super jig. You yeah. don't do anything short or quickly. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm not going to throw it. It's not this new table. I better not Yay. throw it. Stunt mug on its way. Imagine it that way and it comes back. There we are. Stunt mug safe. Woo. I nearly hit the camera last week, Louis. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I was just so nervous. Not with a new one. It was so close. It was yeah, so don't, close. Don't do that. Yeah, so uh, stunt mug on its way to you, sir, uh, Adam. Um, and that's a great opportunity to give a little bit of promotion to the uploader. It's there for yes. the hacks and bodges you want to send us, but of course, bike vault, sends, fails, all of that stuff. Um, that might get you on our social media, but also get you in the show next week. You could be winning yourself a stunt mug. Good luck! Things we like this week. Some things. Some yeah. things, um, many things. I want to start with the Rider Resilience film. Oh. This is awesome. 
Um, I would say that because I'm narrating a bit of it, but it is genuinely is, awesome. I mean, immediately yeah. you're going to make something better. Yeah, I feel that dented it, but it's great, Disagree. even despite me being uh, featured. Uh, Rider Resilience film, obviously promoting Rider Resilience, a uh, charity started by Neil Niels Amelinks, um, who sadly passed away, but he is featured in this video. Um, there's three riders telling some amazing stories um, of how they use cycling to help them through challenges in life. Uh, it's a remarkable film. It it premieres at the Kendall Mountain Festival. Oh, um, let me check when that is. That's on the 21st to 24th of November. Um, but it's a brilliant video. I can't wait to see it out there and you guys will see it. Yeah. Um, you had a quick look earlier on. Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, I only like just saw sort of like a little trailer of it and mm. having known uh, Niels before and, and also seen what Rider Resilience has done as a charity. It's mm. just awesome. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing guy, he really made an impact on me actually. He came in the shed uh, oh, yeah, and okay. we, yeah, we yeah. had a great show with him involved and yeah. Yeah, and, and Rach, guy. Rach is also yeah, just a wonderful human, so yeah. Yeah, lots, of, yeah. lots of love for that. Be good. Of course, yeah. Um, so that's definitely worth watching uh, when you can see it. Um, what do you think about this? Two wheel drive, is so, I mean as a nerd you're gonna love this Owen. Two wheel, two -wheel, wheel drive, mountain bike, well bike. Well, we have had they had these before. Have you? Yeah, we had. There was like a brand that was have selling a couple one? of. Have you ridden no. one? No, there's a brand that was doing a couple of different ones. Whoa. Full suspension one and a regular one. Yeah, like hardtail. I mean, it's very mechanical, but I would like Ooh. to. I would. I wonder what it's like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they've had them in motocross as well, and they've really not. Yeah, I can't imagine it working with an engine because you'd just be pulling on it. Yeah, maybe well, I it feel like work. it does the same. <laughs> I like how he's yeah. pulling it through the mud. Anyway, that's quite yeah. interesting. Um, definitely love this. Hardtail downhill. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, this, this looks awesome. I love it. I love it. I feel like this is a whole scene in itself, and I don't know why this hasn't happened. Downhill hardtail racing or hardtail downhill yeah, there, racing. There has been. HDDH. There is a class. There used to be a class. HDDH. I remember reading about it in a magazine. Actually, the frame is actually pretty versatile. The fact that, okay, it's got wild monster tees on at the moment, but you could put a 29er and a, I don't know, 150 fork on. Yeah. And that would be a sort of normalish riding bike. Admittedly, only with one gear. So yeah. That's yeah, I mean, it's, good, it's very versatile, but I, I think. Set up like that, it just looks sick. I really yes, love it. Yes, agreed. Love um, it. This, I, ramp rucksack. Ramp rucksack. I feel like, like someone went into my mind like 10 years ago and nicked this idea from me. I've literally spent time thinking about, I wonder if you could make a ramp, a rucksack, and then be able to just take it wherever you want to go riding and put a ramp down. And these guys have done it. It's absolutely That's, brilliant. That is amazing. It looks... I love how it folds out. It's pretty cool how it folds out, but I, I guess it might slide. You want to lean it against something, don't you? Yeah. I feel, I did, yeah, like I, yeah. For RC cars, it would be sick as well. Yeah, it would be, yeah. And I knew you was coming on the show, so I found a little bit of tech that I thought you'd love and have oh. something to say about. Um, I really think this is kind of beautiful. 3D um, printed bar stem. Yes. From Danger Home. So we saw this at, at, wow. the, at the Aura Bike, and yeah. A, Mr. Danger Home, I thought, his online persona is that he's quite alpha. Yeah. No, wonderful human. Very, very interesting. Really nerdy. I mean, yeah. that bit's probably not that surprising. Mm. But yeah, the bar was kind of designed with his mechanicness in mind in terms of it's mm. easier to work on. So yeah, love this. Internal cable rings, but nicer in mm. terms of. It's very cable beautiful. Rings. Very love beautiful Thank bit. You. Yeah, yeah. Put that That's in just me. Yeah, I knew you oh. liked it. Caption contest. Yes. Yes. Great photo here. Braden Bringhurst and our own Blake Sampson out in Utah looking at each other lovingly. Yeah, that's I'd good. I'd say. Yeah. Um, first one from Jamie Rides Bikes, Blake Back Mountain. Oh, Annie Brawl's novel. Love that. Great <laughs> reference. Love novels. Love a bit of literature. We could do a whole section on literature. Very Should we good. not, though? Should we not? Um, um, in the comments, if you, if you want us to have a little novella section, uh, you know, we could... Could dive we into could. That. Yeah, we uh, could. So, uh, why day mechanic? You know what they say? What happens in the desert stays in the desert. That's a good one. Yeah, it's, it took me two one. reads to be fair. Being dyslexic, I thought he was talking about dessert, and I got very confused. But I think that's what's <laughs> happening in the next one, isn't it? Um, this is from Z Droid. This one. Blake's reaction when he's asked if he if you wanted to try the shoot. Is that the dessert? Is it? No, I think they're insinuating something else. I like that middle one. I like that middle one from. Uh, YJ Mechanic. You know what happens in the desert stays in the dessert. 
Yeah, perfect. Well done, like that one. You have got yourself a stunt mug. Hang on a minute, didn't we give a stunt mug out earlier on? Oh, gee. We were supposed to give out a race top. Oh. Do you want a race top instead? No, you oh. can't do that. Sorry. Guys, earlier on, Adam, you're getting a race top, right? For his hacks and potches. YJ Mechanic stunt mug. Congratulations. <laughs> All clear. Perfect. It's like I've never done this show before. Coming up this week on GMBN. Yes, we've got some great videos. Uh, three skills that will take you from average Joe to pro and how. Ooh. Love that. I, I need that. Love that. Uh, how to have good rides in bad weather. Tell you what, I love a ride in the pouring rain. So that's definitely worth a watch. Um, and last one, blind test on air shock versus coil shock. Is coil really an upgrade? Ooh. Ooh but I like that. I love blind tests as well. I like oh, right. that one you did with Rich, with the old uh, tuned mass, damper. dampened mass tunes. Tuned mass damper. TMD. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, good. Very cool vids coming up. Make sure you don't miss them. Uh, we appreciate your eyeballs on them. Uh, right, just do the bike vault. This do the bike vault. <coughs> oh, <laughs> Let's do the bike vault. Right, first bike this week on the bike vault is oh. from Chris Smart. Is that a Yeti? Beautiful colour. It is. That's yeah. yeah, that's a spendy build, that is. That Look is. That. Matchy, matchy, everything. Wow. And flats on a hardtail. Mm. You don't see that very often. I think, I don't know who said it last week, but about me, uh, getting rid of clip pedals. Getting yeah, rid of like them. It was a mechanic. Going, yeah. Yeah, going to flats, banning clips. I like that idea. I feel like that's and a I whole video there. And I like what they've done on this bike, putting flats on. There you go. Well, and I'm going to give it super nice. Wow. Next no up, messing. John S. Oh, super nice. Yeah, exactly. That's super it. Super nice. Well done, John. Love the scout. Mr. Lucid. Mr. Lucid. Um, oh, look at this. This is a that's Mayo. Stonking. This is a Mayo build. It is. And he's gone with a sick colour. What is that? Galactic rainbow colour. Wow. That is amazing. That is... Love that. Well done. Uh, next up, Max King. Um, Ooh, picture of his NS. Ontario. We like that. 180 Zebs. 170 yeah. rear travel. I, I like that a lot. I'd say the bike's quite, uh, you know, could there could be more bike in this photo. Yeah, but look, you can see this secondary, wonderful terrain. Secondary to the view. Um, the place looks super nice. The bike is a bit too far away. I oh. can't tell. Um, but it's nice. Don't get me wrong. William Temple. Uh, this is his Polygon Siskiyou. That's very nice looking, isn't it? Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. It's got yeah. a clever floating What, what do you think? Stuff. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Well, if you're going to slag off belt. the last one... There's your belt. No, if you, you don't like the last one because it's got too much scenery. And I'm not, that's got too much scenery because it's got trees. Oh, I can see how this has gone. Right, Owen Cameron. There's another Owen. Um, I mean, I was biased because it's another Owen. Sorry. Top of Big Boar in Italy, Interlethen. Interlethen. Um, got, it's got. I've never ridden there. Burnley I've never terrain. ridden in that whole area. Is really? it good? No, I really haven't. Right, well, potentially add that to your hashtag... We need Martin here. Yeah, because everyone goes on about it there. Like, that's where it's Pagey right. lives and everything, isn't it? Yeah, Pagey yeah. does live there now. Yeah, it's very Didn't cool. used to live there. Because uh, it filled my mind with thoughts. Super nice. Um, next up, Carlo Augusto. Nice, Ooh. rigid trek. Yeah. Very I, nice. I, I, I'm, yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Hard tails are good. More hard tails. Yes. JC, custom Dartmoor. Dartmoor. Yeah, you lots of people. Yeah. Lots of people like a Dartmoor, don't they? They do. Uh, I'm going to let you judge this one. I mean, I'm not sure. Really? Do you just ring the bell if you've got the opportunity? No, I, I had opportunities to ring the bell. Yeah. And okay. You took I made them. a bit of a. And you took them. Yeah, I did. Great bikes in the bike vault this week. Thank you for sending them in. Like I said, the uploader is down in the description down below. Um, send in your bike vaults and all the sends and all the fails. And of course, your hacks and bodges too. Uh, really appreciate that. Oh, and it's all we've got time for this week. Yeah. Gee, that felt very short. Yeah, it goes quick when you're having doesn't fun, it? doesn't it? It goes wow. quick when you're having fun. Um, so, have a think about those comments. Let us know about the riders we missed off of the top 40 most stylish. And of course, is XC in trouble? Can it survive? I mean, I hope so, really. Look, look forward to seeing you in the comments. Goodbye from me. And me.